Can we take the pro-life movement international for a minute? Abortion is almost everywhere in the world, unfortunately. And right now I'm going to focus in, um, I know I've done movies on like going to the March for Life and I've done, yeah, uh, but I got an email from my friend today about um, Ireland because apparently, like, up until now, Ireland, in Ireland, abortion has been illegal, although a, a lot of abortions still happen in the background. But in a month, unfortunately, abortion is going to be made legal in Ireland. And so we just need to start praying you more. Just like, it's one more country taken down by the evil of abortion because just like look at look at this look at this slide that I put together so it's a picture of a sonogram of a 12 week old baby in utero and in so the prime minister of Ireland is going to remove the legal protection of the unborn child during the first 12 weeks of their lives so the sonic like a sonogram that looks just like every baby that looks just like this like just like the one in the sonogram they're, they, they're now legally allowed to be murdered. And this just adds more millions to the babies who are going to, who are losing their lives to this horrific, it's a, this horrific holocaust. And of course you might be thinking, okay, well, it's in Ireland, so what am I going to do if I'm in America? And just like, well, one, we can do more in America to save the babies. But, I mean, okay... Practically speaking, we can't really do anything in Ireland unless we're gonna fly over to Ireland, and I don't do I don't know what we do. But I mean, really, I'm just I'm making this video to one make people more aware of the issue of abortion in general, and then also to like beg for prayers for Ireland. I know several people in Ireland, their sisters, um, but I'm sure they're praying and fasting over there as hard as possible. But really, what I'm doing is. I'm asking for prayers for Ireland, and along with the email that my friend sent, so this is how I know about it, because my friend sent it to me, she sent this poem that somebody wrote, and it is so heartrending. I'm going to share it to you, and I ask you to share this video with others uh, to ask for prayers for Ireland and to spread the, me the pro-life message. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you the, the poem right now and um, take a moment of silence for the unborn. Okay, so it's called Hear the Unborn Speak, and I'm assuming it's written by Daniel Holmes. It was just the name at the end of the email, so I'm, I think I think he's the one that wrote it. Question mark. But anyway, whoever wrote it did amazing, amazing job. Um, and I liked this I guess, meme just because I thought, you know what, that's kind of how how um, abortion is. Not abortion, but like the babies. How a lot of times it's looked at. Not always, but it's a lot of times. It's not wanted by either the mother or the father or the parents or somebody. Anyway, so uh, let's, let's start the poem. Dear Mommy, will you keep me safe? Please, Mommy, keep me warm. I'm growing here beneath your heart. Protect me from the storm. I hear your heart. Do you hear mine? My birthday gift will be Two bright blue eyes that shine with joy on worlds I long to see. I'm looking forward now to life. She seashells and ships with sails. I'll feel the sun. I'll count the stars. You'll tell me fairy tales. Already I've got arms and legs. Look close, you'll see my toes. And on these things that you call my legs are the things I'll call my toes. Dear Mammy, you're not listening. Please, can't you hear me? Here, it's me. And Mommy, you're not smiling now. What is this? Clin what can this clinic be? They've got you on a bed with wheels, these people dressed in green. Don't let them hurt you, Mommy, dear. I'll ju just let them try. I'll scream. Dear Mommy, what is happening? I'm paralyzed with fear. Quick, rise and run. I've just begun. Please save us, Mommy, dear. They're killing me, dear Mommy. They're pulling my limbs apart, dismembering my arms and legs. They've stilled my beating heart. And though I'll never see the sky with eyes of shining blue, know that you've had... Know that you'd have loved me, dear, and I'd have loved you too. Um, this fact that I found.
how big, like, it's literally how big a 12-week baby is. It's, like, probably a little bigger than my thumb. And it's fully developed. It's, I mean, it's full. It like, it looks like a human being, people.